Hey guys, so today is a little bit of a test day. Um, if you watched my last live stream, you'll see that we uh, we did start a little bit with the precision farming. We didn't go too in-depth in it. I just wanted to kind of show it off. So now we're going to do some testing. So we're on Elm Creek, and we're starting off with the first three fields. And as you can see, we have the new precision farming tab. So I bought the maps for these now you can go the route of getting the soil sampler and taking the the soil samples yourself um and i would say you might as well just lease that that soil sampler i mean i really don't see a point in buying it unless you're going to get on a map and buy every single field and i mean if you're going to do that anyway i really don't see the point and going through and and doing the uh, soil samples you might as well just buy the map anyway so this is what we have we have field 45 it is mostly sandy loam and silty clay then field 46 is silty clay sandy loam and loamy sand and 44 is loam sandy loam and just a little bit of silty clay so as you can see our environmental score is 50. Each one of these fields has a different environmental score here. Um, so if we just look at the environmental score details. So nitrogen, pH value, weed control, soil sampling, and tillage. So on this field here, it looks like the nitrogen levels are bad. The pH levels are fantastic. Weed control is around somewhere in between. Of course, soil sampling is good, and tillage is kind of right in the middle because we haven't done anything yet. Uh, with this one here, same thing. pH value seems okay. Uh, with this one, again, nitrogen, pH value is good, soil sampling, and tillage. So we're going to do a couple different things. This field here, this already has the cultivated texture this hasn't been plowed. Now, supposedly, if you plow your fields now, you get zero points for that towards your environmental score. So the points don't go up, the points go down, you just don't get any points for that. So what we're going to do is we're not going to plow this one. And as you can see, the nitrogen here is in the white, which makes sense because we don't have anything planted. Uh, pH value is bad here, but if we move down the field... It gets a little better, and here it's it's good. So we're going to put line. That's what we have in that. This field here, what we're going to do, we're going to plow it with this here, and this is going to give us plowed and uh, cultivated. So this is going to be like plowing and cultivating all at the same time. And the field back there, we're not going to plow. We're not going to cultivate. We're just going to direct drill and see what happens. Also, on the live stream, we tested slurry, which I do have a slurry buy point right here. But we also have manure. We're going to test manure as well. So what we're going to do, um, I think on this field, we'll use manure. On that field, we're going to use um, mineral fertilizer, or the, the solid fertilizer. And on that field over there, I want to plant oilseed radish and I'm going to see what that does. I really want to know if the oilseed radish will bring up the uh, the nitrogen levels at all. So, first things first, we're going to line. I got to say, uh, if, if you have like a real analytical mind, then this... Uh, this DLC just may break you because there's just so many variables and there's so much to look at that it's really just mind blowing. So let's let's take a look here now. pH value good. Okay, so the pH value. Sh yep, it's pH value. Okay. Bad. Hmm, that's strange because 
it should uh it should make that better, shouldn't it? I mean you would think so. Hmm. It's showing the pH value on this field is is like that bar is as high as it can go. So I don't really understand why some of it is still bad when we put an application of it down. Hmm. Okay, so you know you know what we may do? We put pH uh, pH. We put lime on this field to begin with. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave that one, right? And then another field, we'll put lime on it uh, after. Let's move this out of the way. All right, move that out of the way. Okay, so again, that field over there, it hasn't been plowed. It's just cultivated. This field is going to be plowed and cultivated and that field over there we're just going to direct drill so actually I'm wondering no that's all right okay we're gonna set a worker off on here and I'm gonna get a cedar and we can start planting that field over there yeah, yeah, we're going to start planting that field over there with the oil seed radish. And we won't put any manure or slurry on it. We'll just do that first and we'll see what happens. So, next time I see you guys, that field should be done. This field should be planted. And uh, that field there, yeah, we'll put manure on. All right, so that's a direct drill. So this field here is, is going to get directly drilled. We're not going to plow it or anything. I am going to put down manure first. Um, lime. Do I need lime? Yeah, we're just not going to put any lime on this one, I think. That's what we're going to do. Okay, let's see here. Deactivate automatic. No, we want to do that. Unfold. Okay. So as you can see, we have that yellow. Which, uh, it's, it's not ideal, is it? Now, I'm sure we could put a double application of this on. But I mean, if I'm being honest, it just seems like... That's a lot of money, right? So let's see here. Can we do this? Can we get it down anymore? No. We can't. It's, it's, it's just not with the manure. It's not giving us anything better with the manure, so we'll just stop that. Uh, as you can see here, we got all these stones. I wonder if these stones are going to... Hmm. I mean, the stones shouldn't bother anything. I should have took the, the stones off. Damn. But let's see here. What does it say? Owned by you. Okay. All right, so we did that. Now we're going to hop in this tractor here. This is like the smallest direct drill they have in like the base game equipment. Um, there are some that are cultivators, but I didn't want that because I I'm afraid that that'll screw up the uh, the whole thing. So I didn't want to do that. Let's just unfold this here.
I feel like I'm forgetting something with this. Like I said, it's probably the lime, and I, I, I don't want to lime this field. We're not going to lime this field. So let's set a worker off. Ah, can I be planted in August? What the hell? Okay, now it can be planted in August. So this is pretty cool because if you see the uh, the top corner, the top left-hand corner of the screen, it shows you the variable seed rate. So right now, it, it took a lot of seeds at the very end. In the beginning, it was in the white, so that's kind of neutral or standard. And then three red lights means it it took a lot of seeds. And then, of course, if it's down to one light, I believe it's a green light, that means it's taking a low amount of seeds. So it's pretty cool that you can see that in real time. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that, you know, it's... Uh, it's connected to the help window because I generally like to have that off, but I feel like with the precision farming, you kind of need it on. So as you can see, this field's pretty good. It's pretty neutral. Okay, so we're going to let that do its job. And then we're going to take this tractor here. And we're going to spread lime on this field. Oh, I haven't fertilized this field yet. Okay, this is going to be the one that we put the solid fertilizer on. Okay, so let's go and let's... drop this off here so I know guys this is probably a little confusing so again this field cultivated not plowed that field cultivated and plowed the field over there not cultivated not plowed directly dr direct drilled so yeah um, let's look out to the lime here Now, I'm really curious is after we plant those seeds, what will it say for lime? What will it say for the pH? Will it change the pH of that field? Okay. Let's do this here. Oh, there's a piece over there I didn't get. Why did I not get that? Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to plow that up. Okay, so there we go. We have our our lime on it. So this field over here is the only one that we don't have lime on, and that's fine. I'm gonna keep it that way. And you know what? It does seem like the workers do work faster with that that little RTK thing, because he's almost done already. Okay, right, so I'm going to go and I'm going to finish plowing that, that little spot. And then next time I see you, hopefully these fields will be all prepared and we can take a look. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, though, let's just take a look at the scores. Have the scores changed at all? 46, 46, 46. My environmental score has dropped. Why has my environmental score dropped in all these fields? 47. Okay. I don't understand that. I was at 50. And these fields all dropped now. Hmm. Weed control... Yeah, I don't understand what made them drop, especially in this one. Because in this one, I did presumably everything right. I didn't plow it. I didn't very minimal tilling on this one at all. And look at the tillage. The tillage is down to 3.3. Yeah, I don't, I don't quite understand that. All right, guys. Well... Say, so I'm going to continue on here, and we'll come back when 
we see something different, I guess. Okay, so some interesting things here to take a look at. So this field here, this is our oil seed radish field. Now, obviously with this one, it's oil seed radish show, you know, there's no harvest here, so it's not gonna give us a, a yield or anything like that. Now, interestingly enough, the nitrogen levels on this field are now perfect. I've only done, no wait, I haven't done any fertilization on this one, have I? Now, I put solid fertilizer there. I put manure over there. I haven't done anything to this one, but yet the nitrogen is perfect. Um, the pH value, I don't understand because we put the lime on it. It's supposed to have the variable rate, but yet there's certain areas where the pH value is bad. Some of it's good. Uh, some of it's okay. I have no idea what the hell happened there. It shouldn't be like that. Um, it's automatic, so it should make this whole field perfect. And as you can see, our scores Oh man. Ah oh, damn it, I did the wrong thing again. Ah. So again, our score is still the same. It, it went down. We started at 50. Now we're at 48. All these fields are at 47. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't understand it. And, and quite honestly, um, this makes me just say, you know what? It, it's really not worth using the precision farming DLC because no matter what we do, all the fields are the exact same, right? So this one we plowed and cultivated. It's at 47. This one was just cultivated, not plowed. It's at 47. This one, we didn't plow, we didn't cultivate, we just direct seeded, which according to Giants, that's the way you're supposed to do it. It's at 47. Nothing changes. Okay, if I go into these, it'll say the nitrogen level's perfect, but yeah, when you look down here, the little bar, it's at zero. It's not even registering. So either something's wrong with the DLC, or... I just, I don't know. And it says your environmental score does not affect sell prices, but in fact it does. It's supposed to. So I really don't understand. Could it be because I took seasonal growth off? I have no idea. Let's put that on normal. See if that changes anything with that. Your environmental score does not affect the sell prices. I don't know. It, it feels like I have like a different version of this DLC or something. But yeah, as you can see, nothing has changed on our fields. They're still all at 47. Our, our environmental score is still at 48. So, uh, I don't know. This field here... This has got barley again. pH level. Bad. It's bad, and it shouldn't be. Nitrogen is good. Um, we only did one application of fertilizer on there with the, um, the solid fertilizer. Now, this is a field that we direct drilled. And check this out. So we have wheat growth on this one. We don't have wheat growth on the other two fields, by the way. Um, that's something that I don't quite understand. But nitrogen on this one is perfect. And all we did was put one application of manure on this field. And the funny thing is, when we did that, it wasn't in the green. And again, pH value is bad. I don't understand what that's about. Let's, uh, hmm. The only way you can get the pH level down is with lime. Now, 
we already oh boy we came in hot we came in so hot <laughs> so the only way you get the pH level down is lying uh, I don't think you could do multiple applications of lime though so let's see here partial width how do we I forgot how to do that um, how do I turn on crop sensor? Okay, I that's new. Um, how did we do that? Open cover, tackle map, change work with. Okay, let's do that there. Um, let's let's turn on the crop sensor here. <laughs> let's see what that does. I didn't know you had to turn the crop sensor on. So that is changing the pH again. Okay, maybe I did something wrong. Is interesting guys there's a lot to take in here pH value good pH value okay why hmm why can't you get the pH value perfect all the way across it's not even perfect it's just good I don't understand. I really don't understand. Um, It doesn't look like it's doing anything more. It looks like that's just... That's just how it's going to be. So, like... Could this just be a bad field? Let's take a look at the map. Where, where are we? So... We are in the loam part of it. So, it seems like the sandy loam part of it is good. The loan part of it is just okay. So let's uh, let's go up to these fields and check this. Guys, I know this is going to be a long video and I apologize, but literally there's just so much to kind of wrap your head around here. So the pH value is good. This is the loamy part. Soil, loam, right? Silty clay, pH value bad. Silty clay. Hmm. Wait, did that say perfect? Page, are you good? Good. Okay, bad. Hmm. I do not know how to fix that. I do not know how to get to that perfect. Hmm.
All right, guys. Well, you know what? I just, I don't know. So the weed growing, it says weeder. So right now we could use a weeder on it. But you only get to 30 points is if you spot spray. And this is the thing that I was trying to, to explain. Um, there's only one sprayer that you can spot spray with. Uh, where the hell are the sprayers? Right here. The only one you can spot spray with is this new John Deere. It's 28 meters. It's $52,500. Okay, in sea and spray. $39,000 for the sea and spray. So that's that's literally it. So I don't know. I mean, next time when we come when we come back, the next video, we'll check out uh <sighs> We'll check out the weeding and stuff like that. So, like I said, guys, this video has gone on long enough. Um, I don't know. I don't think you guys have learned anything. I don't think I've learned anything. But, uh, yeah, there's just so much to think about with this, uh, this precision farming. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time.